The United Democratic Alliance, a parliamentary group, has on Monday endorsed the partnership with, the, uh, with Musalia Mudavadi's Amani National Congress Party and Moses Otangula's Ford Kenya Party. This comes barely a day after Deputy President William Ruto officially announced his partnership with ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi during the ANC's Delegates Conference held at the Bomas. Deputy Ruto has said that the new political outfit will pursue purpose-driven politics that will unite Kenyans saying sponsored political parties have no place in the current democracy. As Kennedy Kimani now reports, the United Democratic Alliance says it will join forces with its newly found allies in Parliament to generate pro-hustler policies. Let me welcome the partnership of the ANC and Ford Kenya. UDA is a big party, the doors are open, and we welcome many more such partners who would wish to partner. It is all systems go for the new political outfit between UDA, ANC, and Ford Kenya. Following the endorsement of the pact by the UDA parliamentary group on Monday, the endorsement comes after Deputy President William Ruto, Musalia Mudavadi and Moses Otangula agreed to work together in the race to succeed President Uru Kenyatta. DP Ruto has said that UDA will avoid selling political deals with outfits which he claims are sponsored by his rivals. We now believe that with this partnership, um, the country has been given direction on the next general election. The recent turn of events in the Hustler camp appears to be a change of tune from DP Ruto's earlier hardline position of pushing political leaders to fold their parties and join UDA. Ruto now says that the U-turn on his hard stance is for the purposes of creating a winning formula for the August polls. We have however agreed to work with uh, other political parties for purposes of uh, working out a winning formula for the next general elections, especially in the face of the onslaught by those who are sponsoring regional <coughs> ethnic and village parties. Kandara lawmaker Ali Swahome has said that the party's immediate priority will be to push for the review of the budget policy so as to cushion Kenyans facing harsh economic situations. The UDA parliamentary group has also resolved to amend the budget policy statement in order to increase the allocation to the counties to near 35 percent. We see this as a practical me measure to increase resources to finance service delivery at the real bottom of our social economic pyramid. UDA has said it will hold more consultations with the ANC at Ford Kenya so as to synchronize their agenda in parliament. Our members will participate robustly and vigilantly to ensure that the legislative output is pro hustler pro the citizens and conforms with the core principles of the UDA National Social Economic Transformation Platform. Tumekubaliana kuhusu uh, ile miswada na mijadala na shiria ambazo zinakuja katika bunge kwamba sisi kama UDA tutasimama uh, kidete na watu wetu na wabunge wetu watakuwa bunge kujadili na kuhakikisha kwamba sheria ambazo zinapitishwa ikiwamo bajeti ambayo inakuja na ile pesa ambayo itafadhili ita bajeti kwamba sisi tutasimama kwamba miswada yote ambayo itapitishwa pale isimame na wakenya wale wa kawaida UDA ANC and Ford Kenya will now commence on the back-to-back -back rallies starting in Nakuru on Wednesday, Western Kenya on Friday, and the third one in the Mount Kenya region on Saturday. Kennedy Kimani, Hope TV Newswatch, Nairobi.